Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. I want to give here a little discussion of the basic use of the trigger system of the Rigol DS1054Z scope. Uh, and hopefully this will clear up some questions and, and uh, misconceptions. What I'll be doing is uh, I'm feeding the scope with the signal from this little function generator up here into channel 1 and you're seeing a sine wave there and I'll be talking about the trigger menus right. chat you're calling me on the phone um, and I'll be talking about the trigger menus the trigger the sweep mode and the the way that these settings interact to produce what you see on the screen. Okay, so right now we're we are. Let me zoom in here. Okay. So right now we are in the auto sweep mode, which can be changed either here with the soft button or by the uh, mode button in the trigger section. And the trigger vertical. Uh, that the trigger type is set to edge and we have a whole lot of uh, trigger options that are available to us here but right now we're just uh, concerned with using the edge trigger source channel 1 the slope here is rising the little symbol means rising edge and the sweep mode is auto we're not going to worry about the deeper menus here so when the sweep mode is auto, the scope continues to update the screen regardless of whether it actually senses a trigger event. And if you look up here in this corner, you can see the green T apostrophe D, which indicates triggered. The scope is now triggered, and it's triggering on the sine wave. So now if I go to the uh, little function generator and I vary the amplitude, you can see how the amplitude changes so we're obviously seeing a live a live trace there now um, the scope triggers at the intersection of the trigger level and the trigger horizontal position so right there is where the scope is actually triggering so it's showing you some waveform before the triggering and some waveform after the triggering so now if I use the trigger level control to move the trigger level up until it's higher than the maximum amplitude of the trace boom we lose the triggering but the scope is still displaying sweeps so it's not uh, locking stably onto the signal but it is actually still sweeping and if up here you can see that the uh, that the mode indicator is now saying auto and it's flashing Okay, which means that the scope is in auto mode, it's updating regardless of whether it has a trigger event or not, and it's flashing because it's not actually triggered. So if I now move the amplitude, if I change the amplitude of the signal until it reaches some level above the trigger level indicator, now we're triggered again. Okay, so now if I push the button, uh, if I push the trigger knob like a button, trigger level knob like a button, we reset it to zero, uh, the zero baseline level. Okay, now I'm going to change the mode to normal. Okay, so the sweep mode is now normal. We're triggered because the rising edge does exceed the trigger uh, vertical position but now if I raise up the trigger vertical position to above the amplitude of the signal boom what happens okay we get the flashing weight indicator up here the scope is not now triggering it's showing the last recorded sweep and it looks like the scope might be frozen if I go up to this function generator and I change the amplitude of the input signal nothing happens unless I actually go over the amplitude of the signal or rather the, go over the amplitude 
uh, of the trigger position and then the scope is now triggering again. If I decrease the amplitude of the signal to below this level, the scope stops. It's now waiting for another triggering event. Okay, so no matter what I do now to the function generator, nothing happens unless I actually pump up the amplitude until it's over the position of that of that trigger indicator. If I'm below the position of that trigger indicator, the scope simply shows the last triggered sweep and stays there waiting for another trigger event. If I go to the top row of buttons and push the clear button, now there's no trace. It's waiting for a trigger event. If I increase the amplitude of the input signal until it's above here, where you have the trigger level set, now you get a trace on the screen and it's triggered, it's a live trace and as long as I stay above that trigger level it continues to be live but if I go below that trigger level if the amplitude of the signal decreases to below this trigger level then the scope now enters the wait mode and it simply shows you the last triggered event waiting for another triggering event okay uh, I hope that clears that up. Thanks for watching.